Tuesday morning all. Uh, good morning. And I thought I wouldn't shave today, but I looked and I figured I'll get a, I'll do a, a I'll do a width and then two acrosses to keep the irritation down, but I definitely need it. So, um, uh, yeah, I, um, a couple new subscribers, uh, a couple of the heavier hitters on the block. I'm very excited to have uh, Mr. Ken Kirkup, also known as uh, Ken Surfs on YouTube, and Mr. Kevy Parr from all the way from uh, Dundee, Scotland. And that was not a an accent; that was just my throat, because <laughs> otherwise I don't want to butcher a great Scottish accent. Also known as Kevy Shaves. If neither, if anyone has not seen their pages yet, please go watch. Very nice couple, couple gentlemen who uh, make great videos that have excellent production value compared to my little uh, slap together. Actually, I even slap together just completely on the fly, ad hoc, improvised uh, <laughs> production here or lack thereof. Uh, to get into the shave, I'm running a little behind today. But welcome, gentlemen. Also, uh, welcome any new subscribers. Uh, Thank you very much. 55. Yeah, I'm a linebacker now on an NFL roster. Not bad. Um, decided to go with one of my favorite soaps today. Spitfire by Phoenix and Bo. My favorite soap, especially for post-shave uh, feel on the face. It's just tremendous. It's a leather, juniper, and tobacco. And so I like pairing it with a Razor Rock Double X, which has a decent juniper note with it. I think it pairs wonderfully. Of course, we'll be doing Thayer's, um, we'll be doing our Allen Block, Stray Whisker After Bomb. Again, I'm going to keep talking about it. You folks need to try it. US, uh, shavingshoponline.com. Um, anywhere else, uh, straywhisker.com.au. Con Cats and Zetas uh, After Bomb here from this company, Stray Whisker. Please, I highly recommend it. Uh, I don't know if my recommend, recommendation counts for something, but as much crap as I have, and I've used enough bombs, this one takes it. I mean, hands down, the best bomb I've ever used. Not to insult the others, but this one just goes that much further for me. We got a Edwin Jagger Kelvin. The Kelvin is a model, it's a shorter handle, about the length of a. Merker 34C, uh, but it is a uh, kind of a diamond knurled, short handled, 80D89 head, only available through, as far as I know, through Amazon.com. This is a model Edwin Jagger uh, does for them. I've got the Lotus after three shaves, so I'm going to do fourth shave and then into the blade bank it goes. Just going to do uh, 24 mil Razor Rock with soft. And then, of course, my follow up is always T. Shanley. Uh, eye cream and a moisturizer. So face is already washed. I was rubbing some blue water on it for a, you know, as I started this video. So I didn't bloom the puck. I'm just gonna get some, this is a, not the hardest soap, so you don't have to just get the little tips wet on the brush and just go to it. Definitely have to need some more water, I can tell already. <laughs> so let's dip a little more. This is a funky scent for me out of the, out of the tub. And I don't know what to make of it. I do know it performs like a friggin' champ. I cannot speak more highly of the soap formula. The scent, I guess it's more like cured tobacco, leather that's been through the ringer, you know, through weather and exposure, and then the juniper. May it be for everybody. You folks that got to sniff it in Houston when I brought it, um, they really like the scent. I don't know, for me, it may not be exactly for me at the initial, but I can't argue the performance, which takes off. And I can get by the scent because how it, you know, the juniper comes through. I like the picture, the story behind uh, the, the scent idea and the name, being a history major. But, you know, the, the post-shave is... So it brings it home for me. And I have respect. I still haven't purchased a second soap yet um, from uh, from Phoenix and Bow. I'm considering even an unscented just because the formula is so good. But a couple new scents are out. Denali and uh, I think it's Albion. I couldn't remember. That's supposed to be 
something like English tea, maybe certain scents that go with a, a makeup, maybe English tea. It's got a silhouette of a queen with a Union Jack as opposed to just a, a black silhouette. Denali, which is a mentholated, I believe it's supposed to be the, the winter scent. Then they have some of the classic others. They, they um, caught a, as I'll start while we talk here, they uh, carry the husband of uh, the couple at Make Phoenix and Bo caught a pouring and curing error. Or some customers noticed and they investigated themselves and they they caught a they caught an error. Well, they they, they mentioned it to either Phoenix and Bo directly or through Maggard Razor, who's the U.S. carrier for Phoenix and Bo. Which, on a tangent note, um, I got mail call today from uh, Katie's Bubbles coming and uh, and and Maggard. So I may do a video tonight and. Post it, show my mail call. I'm pretty stoked about it. I reported some of it on comment on a uh, Kevy Shaves uh, uh, latest uh, shave video. He asked, uh, "Would we all products we'll be getting in?" And I had quite the list. <laughs> Because I don't really report my mail calls, but anyway, back to um, back to uh, the issue with the soap. So, due to the volume error in the tub, and if you notice, I haven't used this three, maybe three times, and it's a little it's a little lower. You can see where the actual soap is, not the foam line, and it's just a line. See, it's it's under it's underweight for its intent. It's supposed to be four ounces, I believe, and it came in under. It's 115 grams. So I'm assuming that's around four ounces or so. <clears throat> my math is uh, I'm a history major. Math is not my creed. Although I have an MBA, but it's more philosophy than it is execution. Um, they, they offered almost effectively like a 25% off coupon because the, what the, I guess the error on average was about a quarter of the volume and it got applied automatically to your next purchase. It didn't necessarily mean it had to be a Phoenix and Bow product, but any purchase off, um, off a of Maggard razor, so I made a bigger purchase and it automatically applied. It was it was great. Um, it just was assigned. If you had a customer account, it was already assigned to your account. So, so with that and then any of the old soaps they still have in stock, I can't remember all the names. But ones like Sanskrit and so there's a citrus and something. There's a there's another one that's lime and cedar and, uh, and a few others, and there's still Spitfire. Anyone that are under volume, I think Spitfire is back in stock at at the proper volume though. Uh, but also the, but anything that's not, it's broken out separately with a discount. That, that anything that came in under volume is already marked down, or the stuff is now in and done properly. But I like the fact that. And Carrie put out a an email, and I don't know how many bought. Of course, I'm sure it was a it was a through a email system, but it was a fairly long email. It was like, "Oops, we messed up. Here's a coupon. Um, we we apologize." It was a few paragraphs explaining his process and how the accident occurred and. Uh, Airing his mistake is very open-handed, which I respect a lot. I, I, you know, I consider to borrow from Chris Bailey the term "artist of integrity." And so, when Carrie put that out, and I, I, I've said this in an early video. If you go back to one of my first videos before I actually put, started shaving on on the camera, I talk about how I, I consider that an artist of integrity move.
let's say here's a coupon for the purchase and I think they did it per product let's say if you bought two you got two codes I did one so I got one code but I responded back I replied and I I thanked him for his uh, not down here I am gonna go more against on these outside spots, just nice and easy. A lot is co coming into this fourth shave. It's uh, doing well in this head, so looks like this is a four shave blade for sure. But and I personally responded. I told him, I told Carrie, thank you for your honesty. I frankly, I don't know if mine was under. I sort of just claimed ignorance, which it was. I didn't know. Turns out likely it is, but you know what? That email came. He was honest. I thanked him. He replied personally. And if you've ever worked sales, retail or otherwise, it's all about building relationships. And um, I respect uh, the way he handled it and his open-handed, you know, explanation of the error and the discount offer and the way everything was taken care of. And when your soap formula is this good, it's worth it to go back to the well. It's not the cheapest soap. I can't remember if it's 18 bucks for the puck or But, for me, on my scale, it's a little on the higher end, but the soap formula is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, I know, for example, let me mention uh, Kevy Parsons. I know, I've seen him shave with uh, so because he got the test drive a sample or so. I think it was the unscented. And Kevy in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong or jump in if you do watch this. He goes, and, and, and give your opinion, because I thought you you seemed like you had a good opinion of their soap, if I recall correctly. I know I do, anyway. <laughs> put a little more water on the brush and put on the third pass. I, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to putting the balm on again with this soap fa post shape face feel. Oh, man, the soap formula is just amazing. It is one of my top five soaps, performance wise in particular. The juniper scent lingers after the tobacco and the uh, leather. And don't expect green tobacco or, I mean, I think it's cured, a cured tobacco set. Think about maybe RAF pilots getting ready, you know, about ready to jump in the Spitfire or whatever, <laughs> you know, the, defending their island, whatever the cost may be. You know, if I was, if I had a little more thing, I'd lead in with something like uh, Aces High by Iron Maiden. Tail Gunner is more a bomber thing, so that wouldn't make sense with Spitfire. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a Maiden fan. I love, uh, I love uh, uh, 80s metal in particular. That's my kind of go-to sweet spot. When I, this one turns up loud. Okay, so I kind of went... I did my standard outs as opposed to across the grain one direction. I'm just going to do outside in. I have a, they would have a like spot here, like right from their lip out, maybe about an eighth, of, a quarter of an inch top. I try to a little bit of a trouble spot. I do, and I constantly kind of feel like I'm looking at it. I'm literally like licking, feeling, and tongue like, damn it, I missed a spot. Yeah.
And it's a little sensitive, so I did get a weeper today. That will close up. Oh man, I'm gonna. Oh, and also I wanna I wanna thank I was just futzing around on my own channel. And while, you know, I'm in the double digits, low to medium on most of my videos, my, uh, my uh, Phoenix Arson Accoutrements Bakelite Open Coat Slant video is like 557, if I remember correctly. A lot of people hot for looking at the, for watching, for uh, checking out everything on that razor. I know I've watched like four four people's videos on it Paul H uh, David Gonzalez um, I just watched uh, Ken Kirkups or Kenny uh, Ken surfs uh, and uh, dang it I know I've watched four and I'm leaving someone out and someone's gonna go damn it it was me who else had it oh, I apologize I forgot who and it was probably the first one I watched Oh, well, Rico and uh, Rich, five. Oh, my God, I'm an idiot in the morning. I'm an idiot most of the time. So, for new gentlemen, I babble, I ramble. All right, I got to go against so my cheeks here. I just have some thicker hairs right here that just require that I do that. Oh, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll call belated birthday to to Kevy Shaves. He, he talked about in his what he picked up in his U.S. trip, and uh, glad you came by the uh, the colonies there, sir. <laughs> um, you got your birthday razor, so belated birthday. You don't look a day over twenty nine. I'm right behind you by a few years. But I think you're a better looking fellow than I am, so. <laughs> and, you know, Mrs. Kevy, I'm sure, is digging the, the hair, you know. Chicks love the, the silver. So, all right, so I'm going to rinse here. I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to rinse, and then I'll come back for the post shave. Be right back. All right, we're back, and I was just feeling around, and yeah, it's a good work shave. Uh, it's not a bad shave up top, but, but again, I mean, my neck, I can sit there and start doing it, but I want to overshave it and irritate it. But again, the post shave feel, you can feel my face. Inks and Bow delivers. Recommend them. If you haven't tried them, try whatever scent appeals to you. I guess he calls himself the scary, kind of does himself the scent wizard, or it could be something like that. But anyway. Um, Look for what, I'm very picky with my scents, I mean sometimes, but they don't sound like they'd be good for me. And this one I wanted a leather tobacco something, but I bought it more because of the, the whole theme, so. And the scent, yeah, give or take for me, it's fine, but man, the post shave, forget about it. Post shave's the best. All right, didn't intend this on going 20 minutes, but it's going good. Cause I am running late for work. I'm a nine to five or ham and eggger. Okay, weeper closed up nicely. So. All right. Huh. Oh, is it still stallion lingering in my towel or not? 
<laughs> from a couple days ago. Whenever I shaved his dime last thing is a little bit in there. It's a strong scent. Earl Thayer's uh, original unscented with aloe vera, aloe vera formula. I've got three new Thayer's coming today. One of them I want to try for part of the scent, and then I see Paul H. doing it. Uh, the Super Hazel, the Medicated. Because I think it'd be a nice base coat to go with uh, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements 9 Aftershave. So that's going to be an unscented soap. Magic soap combo. I have a lot of aftershaves. Maybe I'll do a part of my mail call. I'll do an update on my aftershave amounts because uh, I've added to it significantly since I did my uh, I did my video kind of my watches and shave den combo. So, all right, Razor Rock Double X. Uh, I usually say it's like in a hot summer day or a nice spring day. This is a great, I think, evening. I get I get a citrus note initially, and then the juniper kicks in. And Razor Rock is is in, is my top three. Um, Aftershave lines with the uh, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements and uh, Fine. I have a, a lot of fine stuff. I'd like to get a hold of that Italian citrus. Um, I know it's not made right now. It's the usual explanation on the web. The Fine's website is the uh, uh, sourcing of ingredients. That I don't know if true or not. <laughs> it's, I just know a lot of people like it. I'm not a big lavender fan, so I'm not gonna jump on by the new lavender. And snake bite seems pointless. I'm sorry, I got I got seen, uh, which means without from uh, PAA. And all right, cons bomb. Little dab will do ya. I popped and got the the uh, 120 mil, the uh, 4.6 0.06 ounce because I know I'm gonna use it. There's a smaller one, but I know I'm gonna use it. For me, it's not a question. Wow, my face feels great right now. Can you imagine if I got, if I had the skin tolerance at the moment to get a straight out BBS and then add Con's balm on top of it. Oh my goodness! Seriously. All right. Uh, for if you haven't watched backlog for uh, Mr. Shaves and Mr. Surfs, respect, respect, respectively. I use a little product from uh, it's a thing called Tiege Hamley. Uh, it's uh, Aaron Marino Alpha M. If you look him up on YouTube, partnered with two other gentlemen and well, three gentlemen. One's just known as the chemist. To make a men's uh, skincare line. That's a subscription service monthly. And I do the stage two, which includes an eye cream. I'm kind of bringing this up because. <laughs> Kemi, <laughs> you want to keep looking 29. I'm sure you do well. I mean, you use a lot of good products anyway. Uh, but this is something I do so I can keep the baby face going. Okay, now, in all honesty, full disclosure, I've said it before, I'm 43, for those who don't know. And a lot of people think I'm in my 30s, partly because my hair still maintains its color. It's, a, it's got a little thin back here, but and a little higher than years ago, but not bad. I have my hair and kind of a goofy attitude about life, but I, I'm serious when I want to be, but come on. I'm not going to get an ulcer over life. It's time to really be serious. But anyway, so that was a, has a... SPF in it, a 20. Uh, it's a great light moisturizer. It doesn't clog any, uh, doesn't get any scents. Um, there's no scent really to it to uh, interfere with uh, colognes, aftershaves, whatever. So uh, for those who are looking into possibly up in their skincare game, check them out. Tiege Hanley, Tiege.com, T I E G E.com. Look up their subscription service. They got three levels. And I'll let you fill in the blanks there. So 25 minutes, I'm done. I'm going to stop. So. Welcome my new subscribers, uh, thank you. Um, let me know uh, your opinions on any products I use. I'd love to discuss. Uh, 
friend, friend me on Facebook. Uh, I'll post these later. Leave comments down below or on the Facebook page. Thank you for watching. And um, always get a good shave. Sets off your day. Uh, be safe on the roads. Watch the school zones. And uh, I will see you. I'll probably post something later tonight uh, after the mail call. Bye.